everybody has challenges, some big, some small. The thing is, the most important thing that you can do is not what you do out here in the world to deal with the challenges. It's what you do in here. How many times, let's be honest here, how many times do you, when something goes wrong, go on and on in your head grumbling about someone or a situation or yourself and you beat yourself up or beat them up or get angry at them in your head? You may not feel comfortable saying it outside, but it goes on, this resentment is in there. Well, the thing is, every moment you spend in that space, you're actually attacking yourself and you're taking yourself away from having a fulfilling, joyful, meaningful life that you really want. And that's what I want to show you in this vlog is how you're attacking yourself and a couple of simple ways to get rid of that. What you have to realize is that your unconscious mind is like a five-year-old kid. It never grows up. Okay, that's the level your mind, your unconscious mind is operating at. And what that means is it takes everything literally. It under, doesn't understand jokes and innuendo. It takes everything personally because it doesn't know there's anybody else. So if you're grumbling about somebody else, you are really attacking your unconscious mind. If you're now, if you're attacking yourself, a lot of us beat ourselves up when we do these sort of things, you're attacking yourself pretty directly. What you need to understand is there's a couple of things. Your unconscious mind wants to do everything it can to help you. So two things. Number one, sometimes these attacks tell your unconscious mind this is what it's supposed to be. So it believes it's all of these things that you're saying about that other person or all of these things that you are saying about you. And it, and it tries to be that. The other thing is it tries to create what you want. So if you are grumbling about a situation and you're emotionally intense, you're, you're creating that image in your mind of that situation you don't like. You're infusing it with all of that, that negative emotion. Your unconscious mind goes, okay, you want that? Fine. We'll find other ways to create it. And you'll keep running into those situations, those type of people over and over again. I mean, think about it. Uh, you may have run into a certain annoying type of person, you know, the kind that's just like fingernails on chalkboard that gets under you and, and can push your buttons and you keep running into this type of people and it may be in different situations, different jobs. I hate to tell you there's only one person at the scene of every crime. Now this is not a guilt or blame thing, that's pointless, but it's to say that there's a common pattern where somehow you're unconsciously seeking that out. It could be in relationships, you know, that you keep finding people that are this type of jerk. Well, guess what? There's again only one person at the scene of every crime. No value, no point in feeling any sort of blame or guilt or whatever about this. It's to realize you're responsible so you are able to respond and change it. What you need to do is get that programming out of your head so that you can start putting in more focus on what you want that's fulfilling and meaningful and oh yeah. Okay? So here's a couple of simple ways to do that. First is you know, you need a lifeline, call a friend. You call up a buddy and who you can trust and you say, look, we are going out for a coffee, we are going out for a beer, I am gonna vent, I am gonna dump and you're not gonna fix it, you're not gonna say anything, you're just gonna smile and nod, okay? And when it's out and done, it's done, okay? You, you know, you, this is not an excuse to wallow. This is a way to vent, get it out and be done. Okay, that's the first thing that's amazingly powerful, simple but useful. The next approach is if you can't find someone to talk to, to use what I call a venting journal. And journaling is great, but this is a different thing. You want a coil bound scribbler for this. Those of you who've seen my videos know I love coil bound scribblers, they're a great tool. <clears throat> what you do is in that 
deliberately. You write down everything that's going through your head, all of the things, all the four-letter words, everything that's going through your head, whether it's about yourself or others or the situation. If there's someone you're ticked off at, you write a letter to them. You do not send it, but you write it in here. When you're done, <clears throat> you take all the pages out and you rip them up, tear them up, and throw them away. It feels so good. If you want to, you can take this another step and link it in with a, a ceremony from the indigenous peoples called the burning bowl. And what you do is you go out somewhere safe where you're not going to set anything on fire. You have a metal bowl, area that's not windy. You put all of those pieces of paper, shred them, feel all that emotional goop and vitriol go into there. <clears throat> and then you set it on fire and as it burns you feel all of that energy go away. You'll be amazed how good it feels. And when the ashes cool you bury them or throw them away and just let it go. It is amazing the power of that. What it does is it gets it out of here which starts to stop the downward spiral of remanifesting all the caca in your life over and over again. Try it out, have some fun, and then start to focus on something that's a whole lot more yeah in your life.